So as you guys can tell, this battery saved my life in a fictional story, and it could save yours too in a fictional and or non-fictional situation. I'll stop talking. This is the EC Technologies 22,400 milliamp hour battery. Now there are lots of power banks on Amazon. Some of them are great, some are crap. They all range from about $15 to $35. This one is $32, which puts it on the upper scale of the Chinese imported batteries, but I would recommend this one over a lot of the other competitors on Amazon for three main reasons. And the first is the capacity. Now you always have to take the capacity of these batteries with a grain of salt. Uh, this one is rated for 22,400 milliamp hours. Most are in the 10 to 15,000 range and deliver usually like 70% if you're lucky of the stated capacity. However, this one has delivered actually really surprisingly well. I've been able to charge my phone several times, uh, my iPad multiple times on a single charge and it's been excellent so far. Um, there are reports in the Amazon reviews that some are having great success with it. Some are having not so much great success with it. It looks like the later production of these, which you can buy now, are a lot more reliable, but if it does so happen that you get one that doesn't have a great capacity, uh, you could always return it to Amazon and swap it out for a new one. Now, so the capacity is one major benefit. Uh, one downside that I should mention is because the capacity is so high, uh, you will notice that the physical size and weight of this is much greater than your average Amazon battery. One other thing that I really, really like is that there are three output ports. So most of them only have two or one, this one gives you three. Now they're all labeled with iPhone, Samsung, Tab, and iPad. Doesn't really mean anything. Uh, it just denotes the certain amount of watts and amps that are outputted to each port so that if you do plug in a tablet, you can plug it into the iPod, the iPad slot. Um, it'll put out, I believe, 10 watts, which is slightly less than the iPad can handle, but pretty much on the upper end of what batteries are capable of outputting anyways. I mean, you'll get 2.1 amps out of this slot, whereas on the iPhone, you get a standard one amp out. Now it is worth noting that if you have an Android phone that supports quick charge, this battery does not support that. So you may want to consider other alternatives if you are an Android phone. But uh, for Apple devices, for iPads, for tablets, uh, this is really, really a great battery. I mean, it's very, very uh, value-based. The capacity is legit. The ports are excellent. And the last thing I wanted to mention is that it's just really well built. A lot of the Chinese batteries that you get will have cheap plastic cases that fall apart. They're all glued together. This one um, has nicely formed plastic that's snapped into place. And so you're not gonna get any like degradation of the quality. I mean, it really does feel incredibly solid. And the components in here uh, seem much higher quality than a lot of the ones that you'll find in the cheaper batteries, which sometimes uh, send surges, meaning that the charging stops and then it starts again and then it stops. And this one is very consistent. It can charge all three devices uh, pretty much evenly at the same time. And that's really, really fantastic. So this is the EC Technology Power Bank, 22,400 milliamp hours. I highly recommend it. For a $32 battery, I mean, you're getting something that's just as good, if not oftentimes better in terms of capacity and performance than name brand stuff that costs much, much more. Uh, all the while kind of superseding the lower end uh, Amazon batteries that are imported from China. So I recommend it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want one of these, the link is in the video description below. If you decide to buy one, I get a small kickback for sending you there. Uh, get one for Black Friday or for, you know, Yankee Swap. They're like $30. It's a great little gift. Uh, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.